Welcome back to the broadcast as we continue to follow breaking news, the resignation of New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. And tonight, tonight rather, state lawmakers are reacting to this news and looking ahead to what is next. CBS 2's Jessica Layton live in Albany tonight with more for us. Jessica. Maurice and Christine, for his entire political life, Governor Andrew Cuomo has been a fighter. So in speaking with several people here in Albany today, I think it's fair to say that his stepping aside caught so many of his colleagues by surprise. Still, they say, given his string of wrongdoings, this was the only way forward. From every corner of the thank state, you, the chorus of voices demanding Governor. Andrew Cuomo's resignation was getting louder and louder. His announcement to step down today, an acknowledgement that he heard those voices. Even longtime colleague and confidant, Assembly Speaker Carl Hasty, one of the last remaining Cuomo supporters, finally had to state the inevitable, saying, This has been a tragic chapter in our state's history. Governor Cuomo's resignation is the right decision. The brave women who stepped forward were heard. Everyone deserves to work in a harassment free environment. On the other end of the spectrum, there's no love lost between the governor and Assemblyman Ron Kim. The two have been in a bitter battle since last winter over COVID nursing home deaths in the state. I didn't think Andrew Cuomo would resign. And, I, and when I pushed back against the governor in February, I didn't know what the outcome was going to be. I didn't have any expectations. Um, but to be at this point with 11 brave women, who stepped up, you know, you know, to hold him accountable. Today, he acknowledges an important new beginning for the state and the people of New York. No one is above the law, and we want to make sure that we have executives, mayors, and governors, and presidents who are listening and doing the people's work and not uh, fostering a toxic and abusive culture. As far as most other New York lawmakers are concerned, the governor's resignation led to a universal sigh of relief. Yeah. Majority Must leader Andrea Stewart Cousins uh, saying, we will continue to address the COVID-19 pandemic, rebuild our economy, and face our challenges standing together. Long Island State Senator Todd Kaminsky admitted he was shocked by today's announcement. I think right up until the moment he said it, it sounded like he was going to say it, but you didn't really think he would do it. The governor's a political brawler. We certainly saw the walls closing in. I think he know that voters were no longer giving him the benefit of the doubt. And Kaminsky is also pragmatic about the quality of leadership we all need to move forward. At the end of the day, New Yorkers want to have two things. They want to have good, competent, strong leadership. But they also want people to be ethical and respectful and honest. And we have to be able to have both those things reside in an important person in government. And I think what Todd Kaminsky just said, that point about saying, is he really going to do this? I heard from a lot of people today, both here at the Capitol and beyond, who were watching the TV saying, wow, I can't believe this is about to happen. But those same lawmakers you just heard from, many of them saying this resignation, this historic stepping down, is a testament to the power of the voices of all those women who came forward and a continuation of the Me Too movement. Live at the State Capitol in Albany tonight, Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News. Jessica, thank you.